All right, guys, I've been sleeping in the garage for the last three days, and I kind of blame it on you, because a bunch of you wrote in and said, hey, we want to see a review of the Southord kit. And so I stole money out of my wife's purse, and I ordered this MPXS 14 and did a review a while back. And then about 147 of you sent emails saying, that's the wrong kit, Bill. You really wanted to get the Southord C2010, because this one is designed for narrow paracentric keyways, which is, of course, what we all try to fight with. So I got back into my wife's purse and uh, ordered this, and of course that's when I got caught and everything went wrong. But let me show you the difference. Um, I had never really measured anything until I got them side by side. So on the bottom, this is the standard hook from the MPXS14, in other words, the, the kit that's really designed to pick U.S. locks. Now, there's quite a significant difference. First of all, the, the MPXS, the, the fat, well, I'm going to call this the fat one, obviously is fatter profiled this way, but it's also 25 thousandths wide. The C2010, which is located on top, much narrower, and it's also only 20 thousandths wide. So, it's true, these will get you in much tighter, much more paracentric keyways. Typical uh, of almost all the Southord stuff, these are now all stainless steel. Seems to be very durable. I've used them to pick a few locks. It gives pretty good feedback. Let's take a look at what you do get. I already showed you the, this is a real leather zippered case. It's not pleather, not plastic, and quite honestly, I was surprised by that. You get a bunch of different uh, tension tools. You get one to work around a doorknob, a little bit offset, so you got a double band there. You got a flex, a single flex, and then you got a Z with a narrow on one end and then a fat on the other so really this is all you need but you also have a flex small one and then two regular very thin and then the medium uh, thickness they also throw in this one for shutter locks I've never found a lot of use for this but maybe some of you guys have alright let's take a look at the picks themselves as I said they are stainless steel uh, this kit let me get this up here so you can maybe get an idea of the thickness so it's spot welded handles, so it's full shank, so it gives pretty good feedback. Not bad looking, quite honestly, but let's take a closer look. It's a fairly inexpensive kit, so there are some edges that you're going to have to spend some sandpaper time on. Probably about 30 minutes to kind of round off the edges. I mean, it's not sharp to, you know, cut your finger or anything, but uh, just to smooth it, smooth it up so it'll get in and out of that lock a little bit easier. I think you probably want to smooth that out. So what do you get? Well, you get pretty good selection, quite honestly. They give you basically four hooks. Standard hook, medium hook, deep hook, and then a postal hook. You're going to get it actually two DeForest diamonds. And I found this interesting as well. I love this DeForest diamond. But the standard one was always too thick to get up inside of some keyways. So this, this one is a quite a bit thinner. So it might allow you to get up in there. I'm going to play with that one just a little bit. See if it uh, works as advertised. Uh, you get two diamonds, you, or actually half diamonds. You get a large one, and the large one probably for me would be more useful for picking uh, dimple locks. And then you get the small one, so if you want to do some raking, there you go. If you got wafer locks, they threw in two of the ball. I've never really known why you need two, but they're both for the same thing basically. Raking open wafer locks, the single ball is probably all I would carry. Let's take a look at the hooks. You get a pretty good selection of hooks. You get three snake hooks, small, medium, and large, or S hooks, I think, I think some of you guys call them. Um, again, three, I probably would use the medium one more than anything else, but you get three of them in case you got some, I don't know, fat pins. You get an L rake or city rake, and then you get the W rake if you want to do that, that kinetic type uh, zipping attack. This is, this is a pretty good tool to be doing that. So anyway, I don't know how much longer I'm going to have to live in the garage, but at least while I'm out here, I get to play with my new C2010, guys. Thanks a lot for getting me in trouble. Appreciate it. Stay safe, stay legal, stay out of my wife's purse.